Today, I want to teach you a relatively difficult but really useful exercise that will dramatically improve your dexterity on the harmonica, and it's just a cool trick to pull out when soloing. It's the triplet climb, and it sounds like this. Here's the idea. First, you are going to choose a scale. Now, for our example today, I'm going to be using the middle octave of the C major scale, which sounds like this. Now I'm on a C harmonica, so this would be a C major scale. Now you can do this with other scales as well, and it's something you definitely should try, but I would start with this one because this can be pretty challenging, so let's start with the easiest scale. For whatever scale you're using, you're first going to want to learn the notes. If you're not sure about the notes of all your scales in your harmonica, then why don't you check out my free scale cheat sheet download. The link is down below in the description and it's going to tell you all of the tabs, the notes, and the scale degrees for all of the main scales on this instrument. So go check that out, it's free and the link's down below. All right, let's go over our notes. So we are going to be using the C major scale for demonstration purposes today. So we have the notes C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then C. So this is going to be this climbing triplet pattern. The first pattern goes C, D, E, then D, E, F, then E, F, G, F, G, A, G, A, B, you get the idea. So we're going up three, then we're gonna go back down one and then go up three again. All right, let me show you what this exercise looks like in standard notation. So we start off here with our first triplet, which is four blow, four draw, five blow. Then we move to the next set of triplets, which is going to start on the middle note here. So we have four blow, four draw, five blow is our first pattern. That means the next pattern is gonna start on four draw. Then we would start on five blow. Then five draw. Then six blow. Then six draw. Notice the flip in the major scale right there. And then we have seven draw. Now you would notice we're actually going into the higher octave. Now here you could either keep going or if you wanna just end at the middle octave, I would just go and end back on the seven blow like this. The whole pattern together would sound like this. I'll take it really slow. Here's faster. You can play this pattern going up the harmonica, or you can play it going down. When you get comfortable with the middle octave, try moving it up into the high octave as well. It doesn't sound quite as complete because the B note, at least in this scale, is gonna be hidden behind a blow bend, which most of you probably won't be able to play. The low octave of this scale works too, but doing this with all of the bends is a real challenge. Check it out. You can use this triplet run as an exercise and apply it to any scale that you are working on. When you start using it for the blues scales in second position, it does get a little bit harder because you have to deal with all of those bends. But this pattern also works really well when improvising. So to show you what I mean, I'm gonna put on a backing track. I'm gonna be playing in first position, again, on a C harmonica. Take a listen.
this exercise will help you a lot if you really take the time to practice it. It's really just going to make everything click that you've been learning so far on this instrument and give you a lot more skill navigating through all of your different scales. And as far as scales go, I find that this really works well in third position. So if you want to learn more about third position, you can click this video up here. That's it for this week, and I will see you next time. Thank you.